वेलकम गाइस इन दिस न्यू वीडियो टुडे वी हैड अ वेरी गुड वेबिनार विथ डेवन अलायंस अगेन एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड व्हेन रिक्रूटमेंट मे स्टार्ट एक्चुअली वी ऑल डोंट नो द एग्जैक्ट डेट ऑफ द रिक्रूटमेंट बट स्टिल वी हैव कवर्ड लॉट्स ऑफ योर क्वेश्चंस व्हिच यू वर आस्किंग मी on youtube and on instagram as well and i i just want to request you all guys please be kind to all of us because i heard that you guys were being rude with lots of other recruiters as well because nothing is in our hand we actually don't know the exact plan of government so whenever we get any information we try to come out with this information and we try to share that information with you if you will act like this if you will behave badly with recruiters especially those who are planning to help you then it may affect you only it will not affect them so be kind to everyone we are trying to help you as much as we can and we are trying to provide you the best information which you should have as a registered nurse so we also want you to come to the uk as early as possible so i i hope you understand why i am giving this message to you and please watch this webinar until the end and you will get lots of good information from it thank you so much no it's um <laughs> yeah it's really frustrating at the moment we are still waiting for um for roles from the hospitals that we work with we're working really hard behind the scenes um and we are we've got meetings in place you know trying to make things work and trying to um trying to get more more roles basically but um we're still waiting um and even the fact that now we don't have any roles we're not doing any more interviews until we've got roles because we've we've interviewed a fair few people that are obviously waiting for their cause um so we're not going to be interviewing until we have um suitable roles and we've um obviously given uh roles to those ha- who have already got um their first offer letter from us so that's where we are at the moment um we're mm-hmm. recruiting sonographers um at the moment but that is not for an nhs trust um that's for a private company and we're recruiting uh mental health and learning disability nurses for devon partnership trust um in devon for a new learning disability unit um, and that's it so as you guys know to be hired as a learning disability nurse or a mental health nurse you need to have passed um the cbt and have a lot of experience in those areas um or examples of caring for a family member or a patient or a friend that has a learning disability so that is where we are job wise at the moment um if then if people have an offer you know we're not in a position to be taking offers away from people that's not the case at all we would just say just keep up with what your cv says so if you're working when we interviewed you you know please do carry on working don't resign until you have a cause in your hand because obviously that'll make things difficult for you for your family you won't have the money and we don't want anyone to be in that position where they don't have money Mm -hmm. um if your um documents are expiring um wait until our team gets in touch with you to say that we have a job offer for you and then you will have time to renew those documents um before you um so your cause will be issued and then we'll give you the time to renew those documents. So once you've had confirmation from the team and the team have told you so, that is your opportunity to then uh, renew X, Y and Z documents that you need to. But please don't be spending extra money. Please don't resign from jobs until our team gets in touch with you to say that we have a job for you. Um, we we you know i wish i wish i had jobs to give to people i didn't you know i love i love being happy and and giving great news you know that's why i took this job because i love working with international healthcare professionals i don't like giving bad news you know no one does um but but we have to wait if we had the jobs then people would be here but we are we are unfortunately waiting and it's it's very frustrating and i do i get it but we don't have the jobs so there's nothing i can do mm-hmm. Yeah, because Any other lots questions? of candidates, yeah, lots of I candidates know. were asking. Like they have, they had interview with Devon like last year, and still yeah. they are waiting for their CUS. So yeah. I have got one question. Like um, one person, he had got uh, CUS, got visa, but due to sickness, she couldn't travel. So employer has like removed her offer, and she's asking whether I can apply for job again. And with us uh not with you like not with devon uh, maybe general. with different yeah 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 of course yeah so if her visa um so i don't know if you know but once um you've been issued a certificate of sponsorship a cause no one else can issue you a cause 
Okay. So if you have been issued a cause on the home office system, um, mm -hmm. no one else can issue a cause. So we've been in a position where people have been issued causes, but they didn't know they were issued a cause. And then we've tried to issue them a cause and then we can't because they've already been issued a cause. Yeah. So she just needs to double check that she's not still on the home office system. So just mm -hmm. get in touch with them and just say, can you just double check that I'm not on the home office system um, anymore? Mm -hmm. That's that's the only thing that I would say. But of course, yeah, it's not, you know, it's not her, it's through no fault of anybody's that she had to withdraw. So she's she's happy to apply again to other places. That's fine. Okay, good, thank you. Yeah. And uh, do you think like anytime this year can recruitment start again or? I hope so. I really hope so. But if you'd have, if genuinely, if you'd have said to me at the beginning of the year, when do you think it would start again? I would have said April. New financial year, new money comes yeah. in. It makes sense, doesn't it? April. I genuinely thought that. April came and went, nothing happened. If you said to me then, when do you think? I would have said end of the summer. We're at the end of the summer. Yeah. I just, I genuinely don't know. Mm -hmm. And I can't guess because if I give a date and I guess and it's wrong again, because I genuinely said April and I'm shouting April from the rooftops, you know, um, mm -hmm. I, I thought it would be April and it wasn't. So I hope it will be this year. But if it is this year, obviously, we're going to be looking at people that we've already offered um, that so... If you if you haven't had an interview, I'd say it's most likely going to be next year. Hopefully this year, if you had already had an interview, but I genuinely don't know. Yeah, it's a very difficult question so to Laura, answer. Sorry. <laughs> sorry to interrupt. Uh, no, I was just wondering, like, uh, because I'm touched with some of the like rest and nurses out here. Like, they have been recently hired by the London Trust. So I wanted to know if it's the problem with only the uh, our Devon Trust, or is it the same thing going on with other trusts as well? Um, it is the same thing going on with Edward Trust. So ultimately, the issue is um, funding. So as we know, uh, Ruth May had the international nurse mandate where she wanted to hire 50,000 um, international nurses into the NHS, which happened. So that was done at the end of December last year. So as soon as that was mm -hmm. done, there was only a little bit of carry on funding, um, which is where the um, emergency nurses, there was four emergency nurses in March, they went to Torbay, didn't they, to the ED department. Um, so there was some rollover of the funding, but ultimately the funding has now finished um, and the hospitals are hanging on to wait and see if there will be more funding. So the London trusts have kind of got it um, sorted where they know that, you know, they need to pay X, Y and Z for their international nurses and they're happy to do that which is great but a lot of the trusts um other trusts outside of london don't have that you know the the foresight and the knowledge and and not the knowledge just knowing that they would need to then carry on once the funding stopped i don't think people mm -hmm. i don't think we expected it to happen so quickly and for the taps to be turned off so quickly which is what happened so now a new government is in we're kind of waiting for them to announce if there will be another batch of funding um, and what will happen for the hospitals then to have that funding for um international nurses in the future so that is where we are we're literally waiting on the government to announce if there will be funding um and there are some hospitals that are happy to fund it themselves. Um, and that and that's where we are, you know, at the moment. We're trying to we're trying to find hospitals that are happy to to fund it um and and go ahead without the funding. So we're waiting for funding. We're want, waiting, trying to find hospitals that want to take the nurses uh, that don't have the funding. So yeah, we're kind of in that position at the moment. We're trying, I can't tell you how try hard we're trying. We're trying so hard. Thank you, Laura. Thank you. Yeah. 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 It's, <laughs> it's 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 a difficult situation, but we are we're trying and it's not because, you know, we don't we don't want the nurses. We do. And we've got loads in our pipeline and we're really excited for them to come. And we, we can't wait for that time. We're just waiting for the opportunities to come now. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. People are very stressed because of interviews and recruitment. They have already passed exam. Yeah. I know. I know yeah. the only you know the only cons consolidation that I've given to a few nurses and I would say now is if there was no need for international nurses and healthcare professionals in the future then I personally wouldn't have a job so the fact that I've got a job is probably good mm. news for them because it means that yeah. it will carry on um as as it is and has it as it has been so yeah yeah hopefully we'll be, be a good news. and hope for the best <laughs> I do as well. I pray and hope for the best every day, you know, <laughs> hope that we'll have some news. Um, so we're just praying for good news now, really. That's where we are. So, yeah. Yeah. 
So, and yeah, any, anything else that you guys want to want to talk about apart from um, the big mm -hmm. question? Um, no, actually, this recruitment only because all are worried about recruitment and all the same question they are asking. I know. And actually, we can't give the exact answer as well because we don't know the exact answer. I don't know. If I knew, I would love to. I would love to get. I would love to give yeah. the answers. I'd love to give everybody jobs. I really would. But yeah. we don't have the answers yeah. and we don't have the jobs, so we just have to wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They can wait and they can work where they are working at the moment. Exactly. Just keep getting your family. experience up. Exactly. Yeah. Because, you know, everybody has everybody's, you know, CVs are getting bigger. Everybody's working. Everybody yeah, is getting yeah. that experience. So keep working, keep getting your experience. It's good opportunity for freshers as well to gain a, uh, experience so that when recruitment will start, they can like show their CV and they can exactly. get a job as well. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Keep working because, um, you know, everybody else is working. So and, mm -hmm. and it is a competition, isn't it? Really? It's going to who's who's the best, who's got the best knowledge, who's got the yeah. best CV. Um, I don't think we're going to be in a position that we were a few years ago where hospitals just take nurses. I think they're going to be looking for speciality nurses mm -hmm. when it starts again. I, I don't think there's going to be a huge need for general medical surgical nurses anymore. I think it's going to be more theatre nurses, you know, specialist nurses yeah. in specialist areas. So find a specialty that you like um, and gain that experience. Yeah. Yeah. We are, we are, in my department, we have advertised theatre nurses, but nobody's applying. So we need theatre nurses here. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah I, I think, as I said before, people, oh, Alicia, you're on mute. Sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sorry, Laura. Like uh, talking about the experiences, like uh, there are a few of the candidates who have asked me, does the clinical work gap uh, does it have impact on the uh, interview? Like uh, there are some nurses who doesn't want to work and who just wants to take a gap and wants to prepare for the OAT and for the run. So how much of the maximum clinical working gap uh, is accepted by the NHS Trust? Well, we used to say two years, but it's really competitive at the moment. Um, I would say six months to a year to um, study for OSCE and study for TBT, but then you really do need to get back to work and to, to gain the experience. The competition is fierce um, mm. for these jobs at the moment, and a two-year gap just isn't, isn't going to cut it anymore. Um, you really need to get back to work and get keep gaining those skills. It's, it's a really competitive market. Yes. Yeah, competition has gone tough now. Yeah, it has. Yeah. And as I said, I don't I don't think that the general jobs that I think the general jobs are going to be few and far between when recruitment starts up again. I think that the hospitals are going to be looking for these specialist roles. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you both for joining me today. Have you got any more questions mm -hmm. that I can help with? Um no, oh, I think you have, you have. You have heard it all for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lovely to yeah, see you, you both. Thank you. Yeah. yeah thank, thank you for you. coming and thank chatting to me that. today. It was lovely. Um, so I'll put everybody's links in um, in the comments below, I guess. Is that what? how you say it in YouTube? Description. <laughs> description. <laughs> I will put all of the links in the description. Thank you, everybody, so much yeah. for joining us today. Um, if you've got any questions, please post them below. Um, please try not to flood the comments with questions asking specifically about your interview or your cause, because as I've said in the video, it's it's not happening at the moment so if you have um questions directly related to yourself please email our team um i'll pop the link in below but i can't give um i can't give answers to people's specific kind of um scenarios in the in the chat because i don't know and also it's not really um data protection to be telling uh you and everybody else that's reading and um, what's going on with your um application so please email the team um directly and they will let you know um and i'll put everybody else's contact details and thank you to hannah that was really lovely to hear about the oski and it's nice to see you both again so i will see you soon thank you so much thank you laura thank, thank you guys you, take care bye, bye. bye. bye.